Does it work? It's good, it works. It's good, it works. Awesome. That was the other one, yeah. Um, and I've added a few more buttons to it and that kind of stuff. Obviously, it's in need of a spray job and um, a little bit of tidying up. But, um, but yeah, this is, uh, this is working out a lot more fun than I bargained for. So, um, yeah, we've, we've yet to install a stereo system. So, um, at the moment, I've got uh, one of my custom modified um, amplifiers uh, working. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'll show you around it. So first things first, here's the button layout. Um, I've just uh, marked a few things with uh, some, some pen for now. Uh, eventually, it would be nice to have some kind of um, sticker, vinyl transfer, something like that put on here. But um, we've got uh, player one and player two buttons. Uh, coin 1 and Coin 2 buttons. We've got Page Up and Page Down buttons. This button also exits the game in the MAME uh, emulator. Putting these two together, exit the game in uh, Mega Drive and um, Super Nintendo and Nintendo 64. We have A, B, X and Y buttons. Uh, player 1 joystick, Player 2 joystick, A, B, X and Y and start and select over there as well. Uh, also, you might notice that um, my recent button additions, I selected the wrong, uh, uh, the plan was actually to have six buttons uh, across the top here, the, the, the whites and the blues. I unfortunately um, selected the wrong hole saw <laughs> and made two holes that were a little bit too big. The good news is um, that the speakers fit nicely in those holes. So yeah, that's that's what the control surface looks like. The okay, um, so we've got uh, two Sanwa joysticks, uh, the courtesy of modmypie.com. We have um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen um, Sanwa. Uh, buttons, lovely feel to them, and a couple of USB uh, joystick PCBs um, that allow us to connect all of those controls directly into the Raspberry Pi, which is located over here. The monitor, Samsung monitor, um, it's a VGA monitor, so it didn't have a HDMI port on it, so I purchased a um, for I think it was about eight quid uh, VGA to HDMI converter. You need to make sure you get one with active electronics in it. And then, um, and then there's the Raspberry Pi itself, which is right here, which is running um, Emulation Station and Retro Pi. So that's pretty much the underside of it at the moment. Uh, the future, we need to make some sides for it uh, to put on the on the sides. We also need to install some decent speakers. We've got a couple of little repeater speakers here to block up those holes that I made accidentally. Um, very dubious of me. And uh, yeah, uh, we need to make a, a, front, um, a front board for it and perhaps even uh, put some kind of a bottom panel on it uh, to enclose it all. But yeah, we're, we're, we're definitely getting there. So um, install a couple of little audio amplifiers a, as well. But uh, yeah, this is, um, this is looking pretty good. And uh, it's certainly a lot of fun. The missus is very happy. Cheers. And now back to the thing that you're all excited about. Yes, it's the arcade machine. Mrs. Dubious is loving every minute of it. Right, so I've just done loads of talking um, about the technical side of this and what's in it and what makes it work. I think people really uh, be looking forward to seeing how it plays games. Uh